Big tech loves to pretend that they're on our side. They dangle free cloud vouchers and free advertising like a starter pack for startups, only to lock you into their overpriced monopolized services. It's a trap. But what if I told you there is a way out? A way to break free and slash 95% of your AI costs. Meet DeepSeek, the game-changing service that flips the script on big tech. Instead of forcing you into their ecosystem, DeepSeek hands you the power to run lean and mean. Imagine having the freedom to build a startup without being held hostage by sky-high cloud builds. Our world is dominated by big tech. You know who they are. Now they're trying to do the same thing with AI. They want to own AI so we can get addicted to their overpriced services. We've been told this narrative that AI is different than any other technology. That it will take an insane amount of money to win this space. Money invested in energy and computer power for training and delivering these services. They're saying that for the first time ever, this tech is about hardware, not software. I call BS. The best software will still win. DeepSeek proves that it can be done, and their narrative is not true. DeepSeek takes your AI costs down by 95%. Yes, whatever you paid $100 for before, you now pay $5. So why is this so important for startups? Almost all tech startups have some sort of AI component now. If you're building anything in tech, you're probably using AI somewhere. This massive cost reduction means we can experiment more, try new things, and most importantly, compete with the big guys without needing their infrastructure. That is not all. Time to do some storytelling. In 1984, in a gray government building in Moscow, Alexei Pachinov sat at his desk at the Moscow Academy of Science. His computer, an Electronica 60, was about a thousand times slower than what Western developers had. What he had created would become one of the most famous games ever made, Tetris. Today, history is repeating itself, and it is fantastic news for startups. So what does an old Soviet game have to do with the recent Deep Seek release that just sends shockwaves through Silicon Valley? Everything because it proves what I already believe. Give developers some constraints and they will say challenge accepted. The release from Deep Seek created total panic in the AI world. Nvidia stock crashed and who knows how it affects OpenAI. They are a private company, so we don't really know. But I bet they're going to have a much harder time raising money in the future. You might think, crap, the markets have crashed. This is bad for startups. It's not. If anything, the power has shifted from big tech to startups. Remember that Soviet program I mentioned? Well, I was playing on my Amiga in the 80s. I love the Amiga, by the way. Pachinov was working on that, Electronica 60. The Amiga was 100 to 1,000 times better for building any sort of game. But here's what happens when you give brilliant developers constraints. They get creative. They find ways to do things nobody thought possible. Just like the Soviets did with Tetris, DeepSeek is shown that smart software can beat unlimited hardware. DeepSeek sends a clear signal to the world. Software is still eating the world, not hardware. Even when battling constraints, startups can win. They didn't have access to the same funding and fancy hardware. And like a true startup, they said, challenge accepted. They found some insanely talented developers and broke the mold. Now that's truly disruptive and the way startups are supposed to work. They built this with their hands tied behind their backs and still beat the big guys. So damn impressive. On the other side, you have companies like OpenAI and Anthropic. They're constantly told that they have unlimited resources. That's the opposite of constraints and will get you into trouble. OpenAI is not a startup anymore. They've raised $18 billion. They have over a thousand employees, not a startup. I've seen what too much money and resources does. At one point in Mavina, we had too much funding and we got sloppy. Our costs went insane. Nothing good comes out of that. When you have unlimited resources, you stop thinking creatively. You stop looking for clever solutions. There's a really good chance that OpenAI has been spoiled by all that money. I mean, why would I improve my code if I can just buy another NVIDIA H100? Why optimize when you can just throw more hardware at the problem? This is exactly what happened with the Soviets and their computer industry. While the West had access to the latest and the greatest hardware, Soviet programmers had to work with whatever they had, and they did incredible things. The Kaiser chess program developed in the 1970s was one of the first programs to win an international computer chess championship. It was running on hardware that Western programmers would have laughed at, but the constraints made them write better code. You tell programmers that they have to program with one hand behind their back, they'll figure it out. Give them constraints, they'll find a way around them. 
This is why DeepSeek is such a big deal. It shows the spirit of innovation. Real startup innovation is still alive. You don't need billions of funding or unlimited hardware. You need smart developers who love a challenge. This is about more than just AI. This is about the future of startups themselves. Big Tech has been trying to convince us that the era of scrappy startups is over, that you need massive resources to compete. DeepSeek just proved them wrong. This shows that startups can still beat the semi-monopolies in cloud computing, in search, in advertising, and now in AI. And just like the programmer that created Tetris with barely any resources, today's startups can still change the world. You don't need unlimited funding. You need creativity, determination, and the willingness to work with constraints. This is a good day for startups. We might even move into a golden age for startups where the big tech advantage disappears. Where a five-person startup can have thousands of AA agents at little cost, competing with the cost-heavy big tech companies. I'm optimistic. Now stop watching and go build something.